when we last left our podcast, we had exploded a bunch of clowns. They're laying in various states of viscera all over an abandoned mall. And we killed Circus, the leader of the insane Bozos posse. The Bozos. Well, thank you. Thank you, Scythe. Everyone's inside the mall except for Brock and Electra. Electra, roll perception. I rolled a 26. Brock and Electra see an AV4 Aerodyne coming down to the parking lot on the other side of the mall. This is a flying ambulance. Oh shit, trauma team's here. Those of you inside do not know this. Are they trying to take away Bandit? No, but we should probably make ourselves scarce. You're on the back side of the mall. They landed on the front side of the mall. They're out of your vision now. Oh, okay. We saw them like kind of going overhead to the other side of the mall where, they are, where the vehicles are parked. Everyone's inside of the mall, busting in from the Orange Julian. This is the most business they've had in 50 years. Trauma team coming in for Sergeant Rents. The trauma team leader comes in, assesses the situation, and instructs her team to provide cover fire if needed. And she moves forward to extract the patient. This is the trauma team. Back away from the patient, or we will open fire. Trauma team comes in, spreads out, and covers Sergeant Rents. Secure the area. Prepare for a defensive position. For those listening at home, the trauma teams come in heavily armored and armed. Though they are not there to fight, they are only there to get their asset out, uh, be it whoever is injured and has the insurance or is worth enough to another corporation to keep alive. Banthar, Remington, Scythe, and Heretic, and Robin are inside the mall, and they see Trauma Team come rushing forward. What do you do? That's Trauma Team. We need to back away. Santa Maria. That girl in the trauma team, she looks pretty good. We have no time for advances, Banthar. Don't be a pervert, Banthar. The patient is their priority, but if you mess with trauma team... They'll fuck you up. They'll fuck you up. Thank you for your service. Uh, We're leaving. They will shove an old lady down a flight of stairs to get to a kid with a skinned knee if that's their asset. Secure the perimeter. I want eyes on every possible entry point. Back away from the patient. We need to get out of here. The trauma team can be very dangerous. Even my faith knows that they are not to be messed with. I didn't know it was going to get so heated tonight. I'm just glad it's over and I can go home. Let's beat it. We should just beat it. So what are you going to do? <laughs> We're going to leave fucking explosive ordnance on children's toys <laughs> and walk away. You're going to leave the dead clowns and the landmines behind. Yeah. So the bozos were trying to blow up a mall. What does that have to do with any of us? Can I search Circus real quick? Circus has two heavy handguns, a billy club, handcuffs, and a bank card. Dibs on the handcuffs. You can't ask me why. Dibs on the bank card. No. I call dibs. I'm the one who took his life, and I'm the one who will take his items. There's also a card... It's a membership to the Weekend Yacht Club. How strange. Well, I'll look into this later, but we need to get out of here now. We should get out of here before the cops come. <laughs> Anybody want to ride in my Bugatti? Shotgun. I'll ride with you. Y'all both squeeze in. You can sit on my lap. That sounds fine. We could talk about our feelings. You can talk about the first thing that pops up, man. <laughs> Two full cars make it back to Remington's warehouse. Well, they go back to lick their wounds. My patience, I have to apologize. I'm afraid I almost got you all killed in my quest for revenge. I'm sorry. It's all right, cuz. You're not the first person to almost get me killed. Uh, but I need to go meditate. I have a lot to process after what I've done. Do you want Bandit? Well, thank you. I will take it to the shrine with me. Scythe gets a call from Jerry Mason. Jerry Mason, the man with the phone. I don't know what to say. You stole my line. (laughs) How would you like another mission? Jesus Christ, man. I get what. What is it? To retrieve a secret algorithm from Continental Brands. 
It's gonna take some net running. That's why I called you. I am the best. And modest, too. I'm very humble. Would you like to hear about the job? Tell me about the money first. The money will be 20,000 eddies. Yeah, we're in. Total. Yeah, we're, we're in. You haven't heard what I... We? You, you haven't... Doesn't matter. Just just send the deets to my phone, man. We'll make it happen. Do you got a mouse in your pocket? My bad for trying to include y'all in this fucking money-making endeavor. Yes, Jerry, I'm in. Put him on the speaker. No. Why'd you not put him on the speaker? I'm having a conversation. We'll, give me a second, Manthar. See? Would you like to consult with your cohorts? They don't seem into it. Then relay this information to them. Arisaka wants the algorithm from Continental Brands. This is a specialized algorithm that is rumored to be a breakthrough in artificial intelligence technology. Arisaka is willing to pay a high price for its retrieval. All right, did everybody catch that? No, because you wouldn't put him on speakerphone, you fucking twat. Jerry, can you tell me more, like... Is the gig very far? <laughs> Will it put up a fight? <laughs> Will they put up a fight? I see what you did there. Your team must break into the Continental Brand. <laughs> Your team must break into the Continental Brand's R&D facility, where the algorithm is stored on a secure server. The facility is heavily guarded and protected by advanced security systems, including biometric scanners and surveillance drones. Your team will need to use all their skills and resources to bypass these security measures and access the server. Once the algorithm is retrieved, your team will need to escape from the facility without detection. I think I might have a little plan for this. Uh, can you tell me more about these biometric scanners? Are they scanning for anything biometric or just something in particular? Mostly facial recognition. All right. What about your nomads? They're, they're very good at driving. They're off the grid, most of them. You, my friend, are in the database. I already checked. I think I have a plan. I just need to go see a Ripper doc first. Tell me more. Uh-huh. Tell me more. Uh-huh. I'm gonna need half the money up front, though. I may be able to front you a deposit, but Arasaka is not giving me the money until you finish the job. Alright, send me about five grand and uh, the number of a good Ripper doc, and I will call you when we are on our way. Thanks, Scythe. Everyone is back at Remington's warehouse. What are you gonna do now? Hey guys, I'm gonna head towards the Ripper dock with my bird. Um, anybody else need to go to the store? Me. I need really good armor. There's too many bullets in mine. I would second that. My armor has been ripped apart. This is a dangerous world, and now I have some cash. I think it's time to upgrade some of my gear. Uh, Banthar, you're a, a maker, correct? See, I was wondering if you could apply some upgrades to my assault rifle. I would like a more precise weapon. See, I can do that for you. This plan that Jerry just sent me, I'm gonna um, CC y'all on that. I'm kinda thinking, you know, we've been uh, doing a lot of murder lately. We should probably try to do this at least less than lethal this time. The bozos don't currently have a leader and they have themselves a big ass boat sitting there at the dock. And by boat, I mean yacht. I can drive a boat. We need to go get it. I can also drive a boat. I can ride on the boat. Is anybody good at graphic design? I am. Can you draft together some flyers to elect Robin as the king of bozos? Yeah, I could do that. Do they vote? They will this time. We're going to fucking force democracy on them bitches. So are we really about to launch Operation Bozo Freedom? <laughs> so what exactly am I drawing here? Just think up. Uh, Bush Quail, 92, but with Robin. She just stares at you blankly. <laughs> a thousand points of hee-hee. <laughs> Bringing the hee-hee to your homes. Is that the slogan? That'll be a placeholder. Oh, God. You'll have to go to the Bozo's Amusement Park to get to the yacht. I, it sounds like a job for a mimetic camouflage. That or we could use a small boat to get across the river and get onto the yacht without them even seeing us. Where are we going to get a boat? I can find us a boat. I know some people with boats. Or a small dinghy. 
Yeah, one of you's got a small dinghy for sure. Make some calls, Remington. All right. Brock's going to get up and uh, whip his phone against the wall <laughs> while exclaiming, Fuck! Brock, you all right? What the heck, Brock? No, I still, I, I just still can't log in. Here, just use mine again. It, it doesn't work on yours. Like, I'm, it's completely locked out. I know, but I have the social fan club. I am head of it. Just use that. I just, uh, like, I don't know where my, uh, I don't know where my content went. I'm just, I'm a little freaked out. Sorry. I would take a look, uh, I would roll a, a die for fixing the phone. Uh, it's in pieces over there. I'm going to need another burner phone. I'd prefer to stay out of trouble, but if it means we're going to make a difference in the world, then I'm in. That's the spirit. That's why we're all voting for you, Robin. Besides, Robin, by the time I get done with this flyer, you're going to look so cool. What about the other bozos? They don't matter. Fuck them. They're your constituents. Uh... We got to win hearts and minds here, buddy. Robin, and she grabs him by the shoulders. You're number one. I'm bad. That's right. Say it again. I'm bad. Say it louder. Yeah, yeah. I'm bad. What do I roll to repair an agent? Banthar fixed Brock's phone. Basic tech 25. I fixed the phone. Here you go, Brock. Well, that was quick handy here. All right, I am going to be also rolling basic tech to hack into his phone and attempt to hack into his old accounts, if that's agreeable. Trying to get Brock access to his accounts with my Netrunner expertise. Uh, I assume that's going to be basic tech as well. Interface. You also have Circus's bank card. I rolled a 16. I actually did a crit fail, but I'm so jacked up on fucking points that it's still a 16. Here's your phone back, dude. Your inbox is going to be blowing up for a while while it sinks. You figured it out? Yeah, man, here you go. All right, all right, thanks. Yeah, it was super easy. Also, by the way, I just started a whole bunch of rumors that he's the shit. So then that way everybody would just vote for him. So I rolled a 20 for rumors, and I started a rumor that Robin is now king of the bozos. If I'm going to be king, could I not have that um, explicit description? Maybe like chuckle, guys. Oh, you don't want me to say chuckle fuck no more. Okay. Well, I don't want to be king of the chuckle fucks. Oh, you are king of the chuckle humpers. Chuckle humpers? I like chuckle fucks. It's not family friendly. How about the almost, almost insane clown posse? How about the chuckle boys? Hey, the chuckle dudes. Chuckle dudes. Chuckle dudes. It sounds like an improv troupe. Chuckle boys. I don't think with your voice and the uh, person your character is patterned after, you should have anything to do with boys. <laughs> I like that. With the young boys. No. No. We're telling you no for your own safety. Oh, okay. I'm Gerald from Sub Bay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how far do I have to edit this shit? What are we calling them now? Let's just call them the bozos. The bozos. Okay, the bozos. There we go. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, king of the bozos. King of the bozos. That's kind of what I already did, so I'm just going to leave it. Thanks for that detour down that rabbit hole. Brock, do you still have that friend of yours who's a private shopper? Yeah, Chaz? Yes. Um, I've noticed that I've been getting shot a lot, and my armor is like pretty in bad shape. It's it's holier than me. I kind of think I need some new armor. I can make some phone calls. Sounds like we going to the night market tonight, boys. And and people. No, I think the point of this call is so we don't have to go to the night market. And last time we went to the night market, it got a, a bit hairy. It was super fun. We're pretty wanted in Night City. I don't want to show my face. Speaking of not showing faces, Brock, if you could see if he could find me some, some of that Nomadic camouflage as well. Does it come in pink? Uh, we'll see what we can do. Brock, I need more armor. I keep getting shot at. Brock, make the call. Yeah, all right, calling Chaz. Hey, Brock! What's hanging, my man? What can I do for you? Hey, homie, uh, I'm actually uh, ready to take, a, take you up on that personal shopper uh, thing that you talked about. Excellent. I knew you'd see it through. All right, and it's going to be pretty helpful because i gotta, uh, I got to keep a low profile for a little while. That's exactly why I thought of you. I thought it'd be a perfect match, you know? Like peanut butter and... Well, I'm just glad to help. You know, 
With you being wanted and all. It's 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 pretty wild. Because basically, dude, everybody's looking for your face. Like every uh, more than just the cops. Oh, most definitely, dude. All of the cops, probably most of the gangs, and I think even your mom and dad are looking for you. Why would the gang? Oh, right. Yeah, that some things happened. So yeah, it's been it's been a wild couple of weeks. Um, I'm just wondering, uh, when's the next time you're gonna be at the night market? Uh, welcome to Chaz. I'm going to the night market tomorrow. Can I please take your order? <laughs> yeah, we definitely need to upgrade some armor. So if you can, you know, put your eyes on that. Uh, honestly, we got a couple of suits of meta camouflage. If you can get your hands on that, that'd be awesome. I saw some Ometic camouflage in the combat zone marketplace last night. Other than that, um, light armor jacks. Uh, do you guys need any hardware? I'd like to hear what kind of less than lethal armaments they got. So, um, if you could, like, wire me some eddies through my Funmo account, like a, like a deposit, you know? I, and luckily right now we do have a little bit of money. And if you got it... Spent it, right? What about, like, a sniper rifle? I would like the sniper rifle, see? You know, it's not a bad thing to have an extra of. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's stick with it. If you can find at least one suit of mimetic, maybe a couple light armor jacks and a sniper rifle, and whatever ammo the rest can take care of. Do they have any grenades? Grenades are always good, too. You so totally rock, Brock! Hey, Brock, can you ask the turtle from Finding Nemo if they have a Rymel railgun? Finding Nemo? Oh, hey, Scythe. I love that movie. What about a Kendachi Mono 3? You know, every night's different. Some nights I'll go, and I'll be like, Whoa, check it out, man. The other nights I'll be like, Bummer. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's good to have money on hand. Because then you can just jump at it when you see if it. If you can get me one for a thousand eddies, I want one. How much do you think you'll need? So, if you want to fun mo me like 7,000 eddies, I think I could get started. All right, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna have 10 wired over to you just for incidentals. Yeah, even better. Uh, Electra, I'm going to give you a, a credit account. That money that I told you to hold on to for me. Uh, I just need to send 10 over to him. Yeah, I still got it. Is the extra 3,000 a gratuity? Depends on how well you do. Depends on how pretty my shit is. I'm going to do an awesome job. And I'll even keep an eye out for, like, like glitter guns. You know, those are pretty. Go ahead, hit me up when it happens. Will do. Talk to you later, Brock. All right, I'll see you, man. I'm glad I can rely on you. By the way, out of everybody here, why'd you give me the money? Out of everyone here, who could I trust with my money? What, am I going to have Scythe hold it? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Aw, poor Scythe. No. <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking to get paid out in all twos. <laughs> Screw you guys, I'm going to the Ripper Dock. Anybody coming? You're not just going to roll up on my cousin like that. I'm going to have to call him. Ghosty. And Brock's going to get some sleep. He feels like shit. Electra goes. Will you make sure the doc doesn't get blood from me? I don't know what you're talking about. Brock's going to sleep. I'll make sure that he doesn't take your blood. That's... We can sit back to back in a dark room with a bare bulb and make sure that our blood doesn't get stolen. That sounds like a good plan. I'm tired. If nobody will go to the Reaper doc with the scythe, I will go with him. And Otherwise, I am going to play with all the cool, cool shit I got from the junkyard. All right, tell him I'm on my way. Yeah, cuz. Hey, how's it going? Oh, not bad. I saved your number this time. That's probably a good move. I've been using this one a lot lately. Do you remember the bloke that I brought through? Well, the them that I brought through with the bird? Yeah, yeah. I'm still working on those parts for the ma, for the eye. They're wanting something else, son. Uh, send them to you, because you're the best Ripper Doc I know. All right, piece of piss. I should have it done by the time I get here. Hey, Scythe. Yeah, what? What were you wanting to get done at the Ripper Doc? I want to get a neural link installed in Mother's Milk. Hey, so they're talking about getting a Neuralink installed in the bird. I can make it work. I'm still working on that other order he put on me. Yeah, well, they're a bit of a pill. They're going to be there shortly, though. What does a Neuralink do for the bird, Scythe? I think it's going to help us with a Jerry Mason gig. That's not what we were asking you. We were asking you to explain what a Neuralink is. Oh. How does, how does a Neuralink help you with the bird? It's going to enable me to remote access a node without actually being physically present. But since it's a node and not on the internet, 
someone or something has to be physically present and make the physical connection. It almost, almost seems like it would be way easier if you would just stretch chicken skin and dipped it in feathers your drone. Don't talk about mother smoke like that. Because there's none of this bird left in there. <laughs> it's fine. It has a gun that pops out of its small back. It's lost a lot of humanity, but it was never human. It's good. Is there any limit to what we can gem in this fucking bird? It's 2043. We have the technology. I mean, at this point, he's just going to reconstruct a bigger bird around what used to be this bird. It's going to be Bubo from uh, Clash of the Titans, and it's going to be annoying as hell. Wait. Yeah, ask your cousin if he can make it bigger. That'd be cool. Also, if I could get a cyber arm installed, there's some benefit I could find from that. Are you still there, cuz? Is this line cut off? <laughs> yeah, fucking swallowed cyanide. Everybody wants a shitload of work done, so I hope your schedule's clear for tonight. Another trip to the cinema I'm gonna miss, but, you know, I can make it work. They got money? I suppose. Alright, send them up. Electra goes up to the room where Remington and her went to sleep last time and looked down at Remington and is like, are you coming or what? Yeah, I'm coming up there. I need something out of that drawer. Is it the magic smoke again? It is. It is, in fact, the magic smoke. We've had a rough day. I think I've earned it. Do you guys uh, mind if I hang out with y'all? Um, I'm feeling kind of rough right now. Yeah, you can have some of the magic smoke, too. It's the only way I sleep. All right, heretic. Hop in my Bugatti. Oh, I would love to sit in this thing. Now I'm not actually on another person, so this will be way more enjoyable. Insert check car sounds here. <laughs> Bantar is sitting at a table practicing chapeling the cars with his two hand. See, I was going to go, but uh, he got the heretic to go with him, so I'm staying. Bantar, you ever have magic smoke? See, in my small town in Argentina. Do, do you got some magic smoke? Captain! I'd love to try it. Okay. And now we're at the Ripper Dock. Ding dong. It's open. Who has a doorbell these days, anyway? I found it quite strange myself. It, It's still open. Okay. okay. <laughs> let's, let's go in. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go inside. Sorry. <laughs> what up, Doc? Hello, fellow practitioner. How are you? Oh, yeah, you the friends uh, Remy was telling me about. Yes. Yeah, you're back for more, eh? Well, I was very interested in some of your cybernetic upgrades. I, They are kind of against my faith, but since I'm no longer part of the Order, I feel that maybe I should try some of them. I need one more thing for my robo-chicken. I mean, yeah, it's, a, it's, it's done roasted now. She talked to you about the Neuralink? Yeah, I mean, at this point, uh, it's going to be a bit extensive, some of the reconstruction I'm going to have to do on this little buddy. It's just a budgie. All right, well, we, we got till the morning, and I nonchalantly pass you the bird like I'm throwing you some car keys underhand. Oh, fuck. Is, is he all right? It makes the same jingling noise because of all the other work you did to it. There's not going to be much of this bird left. He'll be fine. He'll still be my little buddy, but better. All right, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do. And you, what, what you need, bud? Well, I would like to uh, upgrade some of my abilities to perform medicine a lot better. I've noticed that there's a cyber arm that I could have installed, uh, replacing, I guess, my left arm? I'm not really sure how this works, but there's also... I'm a little concerned that you looked at the wrong arm first. Well, I'm trying to figure out which one I want to give you, because it's very... This is a lot for me, but I know there's a med scanner that I could have implanted into it? Yeah, like this. And he holds up his hand and a little med scanner, uh, you know, in his, uh, you know, false hand, pops right out. It's, you know, got a little readout. Fascinating. Yes, I would like to have one of those installed. I would have to trust the opinion of a fellow doctor like myself. I, to be uh, fair, uh, not officially a doctor. Oh! Oh, joy! No, mostly I'm a self-taught. Uh, I did most of this work myself. Oh, I'm self-taught my... Well, not really self-taught. I was educated in the commune. Did y'all just become best friends? I believe so, but don't jinx it, Scythe. I've been lancing boils since I was a boy. All right, here it goes. Get in the chair. We'll talk all about it. Out of curiosity, what are you going to do with the old arm? Most of the time they go in the biohazard bag and incineration. No, I want it. You think I could have it? No. 
Uh, you want to keep the old arm? I rocks, paper, scissors you for it. Left hands only. Face down for the arm. Fifteen. It's in your... Fourteen. Dang. Yes. I'll get to keep it and put it in a jar of formaldehyde. Wait. I'm throwing luck at this. With two lucks, I got sixteen. Oh, I will throw luck into this too. Fuck you. Fuck it. Seven lucks at it. Oh, I got eight. <laughs> All right, cause uh, I'll, I'll vacuum seal it uh, until you get it. Whatever you're doing with the damn thing. I don't know what I'm doing with it, but I know exactly what I'd do with it if I had it. That's exactly why I can't let you have it. <laughs> I really wanted to try the stranger. Yes, I see you follow the process quite well. Meanwhile, back at Remington's warehouse. So, uh, it, it's, it's, um... <laughs> oh, my God, Robin's here. <laughs> hey, Robin. It's pretty smoky in here. There's fog. The weather didn't call for fog. The weather is for outside. The weather in the warehouse can be different sometimes. Holy shit, I am high as a chupacabra. Roll for persuasion. Robin, come here. We're playing a game. I love games. It's called Puff Puff Pass. No, it isn't. Puff, no, Puff, it Puff isn't. Pass? No, it isn't. It's called. It's called. It's called. Have you ever held your breath for a really long time? All right. So, so take a take a deep breath of this, and then and then hold your breath as long as you can. I held my breath for a minute one time underwater. It, it won't be that long. You'll cough before you hold your breath for a minute, mate. Coughing is good. Coughing's good. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> King of the bozos. Robin, I've never noticed until just now, but do you know that you look like a pop star from like 50 years ago? Yeah, he was the king of pop. What? The guy with the glove. Elton John? No, 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 it's a, it's a different one. Nick Cannon? He had a glove like yours, too. It's uncanny. I'm really hungry. I'd kill for a kibble taco. Heretic and Scythe are at the Ripper Dock, and Heretic is a little high. So, Heretic, uh, how do you all know uh, Remy? Oh, it's a funny story. We ran across her at uh, on the road. She, her her car was broken down, and we uh, we gave her a lift. It, is isn't that right, Scythe? I it's a little. I'm a little fuzzy on the details. Yeah, she had blown a rod, and as a mechanic, asked us if we had extra rods on us, and. Of course we didn't, because who would? Well, you're known for having an extra rod, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want to see this handiwork? I mean, as a professional, yes. Not you. You've already seen it. I don't remember if I have. All right, then I plop it out, and I put it right on his right shoulder, because his left shoulder is being worked on right now. Oh, that that is... Somewhat improper. Mm. It's heavier than it looks, right? It is definitely. A That's an official Mr. Stud, huh? Trademarked. Have you uh, been running along together a long time? We met in an alleyway about two seasons ago. I, I kind of don't even know why you were there, Scythe. I was just there to play with my uh, red smoke. And then y'all seemed like you're going somewhere, so I started following. It was Friday night, I was playing by the dumpsters, and y'all just kind of showed up. Who even are you? You... You have, like, both organs? You got... Well, I wasn't born with both organs. Well, I figured. Hold a little bit more still. Oh, oh, okay, I, I will. Um, Here, let me take this off your shoulder real quick. That'll probably help. Yes, that's also... It's right by where I'm talking, and it's very weird. <laughs> Just just gently grazing your cheek every time you look over to see what's happening. <laughs> Where are you from, Cy? I grew up on the Isle of Florida. Uh, I was raised in a cult. Uh, I was raised in a cult. It's not starting to feel ticklish, is it? Oh, no, I don't feel a single thing. 
So anyway, this uh, this cult I was raised in, they were having a hard time getting religious status. So uh, they made a casino to get tax exemption, and they forced me to perform up on stage as a child. I was eventually banished from the church after exposing the algorithm in the slot machines, which leaned far right. I don't even, I don't even know what that means. But you're, you're from a, a religious group too. I was. We were called the Conqueror Brethren. I've I've never heard of such a group. They must be they must be pretty local. Well, they were in far south Florida, the the Keys, until those of course got washed away in the uh hurricane of twenty twenty seven. How did you even how did you even get to Night City? You must have been from so far away. I'm from I'm from Cedar Sinai. You know, with legs like this I didn't have a problem hitchhiking. <laughs> they are pretty spectacular. Here, let me put one up on your shoulder. Uh, oh, hold on, up on there, Please, I, I, please. He's, he's still working on what is now a stub. <laughs> You're gonna hear a little bit of a click. Okay, let me. Ah, ah, oh, I right, just hold steady. I'm holding steady. But why have why have you come into the service of Brock? I don't believe I've come into anybody. I'm not talking about the act of impregnation. Why, why are you helping us? It was either that or I'd play by the dumpsters till I got bored and go into the American spirit and fuck around in there again, but those guys are real transphobic and problematic in there. Ah, that is, that is terrible. People should be who they are. And nobody's more me than I am. Is that why you came here to, to be who you truly are? No, again, I was just bored, and I was playing with smoke in the alleyway, and y'all just kind of showed up. Huh. You have tagged along pretty far, then. I mean, you were living with us. Yeah, I guess I have been living with y'all. Maybe I do have a family. Maybe I am worthy of love and friendship. Nah, yeah, probably not. A scythe. A scythe. I reach out the arm that isn't being operated, and I grab his hand. Their hand. There, I grab their hand. Y- you have a family. I'm your brother and your doctor. Why is your hand so clammy and moist? It's probably because of the anesthetic. Where did that voice come from? Right there. He's he's working on you. He's looking at you. Oh, man, I am. It has been a long time since I've had to practice the study of anesthetics. In my, in my order, we practice anesthetics on ourselves so we know the effects. What what was your order about? I'd like to do a little practicing myself. You mind if I get some of that? No, I'm just about wrapped up here. And he pulls the uh, the sheet down, you know, from uh from around. Yeah, you know, it was a little bit of privacy, so he didn't see his missing arm. And you see an arm with you know some suture marks and some cauterizations, but overall it looks like just your arm. Wow. I'm surprised. I thought it would look more metal. Well, I'm a specialist. It feels like it's still there, but I know it's not. All right, just do me a favor, cuz. Uh, pinky to thumb. It's the new me. I grab the old arm that's sitting on the table. Oh, I gotta vacuum seal that first. Yeah, give me a second. I, I got this thing, and I, I stick the index finger into my mouth. Hey, don't do that with that. That's mine. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What's that over there? That... And then I stick his own index finger into his ear. Oh, oh it feels so natural, but so weird. Us. Ah, oh, that's so weird. Just give me back my arm. It's mine. It has to. I'm, quit touching I have to, yourself. Please stop. Quit touching yourself. Please stop. Quit hitting oh, yourself. Tr- oh, quit my hitting God. Yourself. Give me back. All right, end of the bag you go. Thank you. I need to, I guess, put that as part of my shrine. All right, do me a favor, Coz. All right, can you bring bring up your scanner? All right, hold it over my heart. Amazing. I used to have to use a stethoscope. Not bad, right? You can hardly even see the seam. Yes. It's incredible. You kids better head on out. Uh, I still got a you know, chance to run to the cinema before we go. Oh, hold on. You got to work on my bird tonight. I'm going to leave him here with you overnight. When you're done with him, just kind of toss him out the window in the morning. He'll find his way home. Yeah, I'll get it sorted. Are you going to... Follow Jerry Mason's mission, or will you be... No, we're going to do that, but in the morning. Scythe, I know we have that mission for Jerry Mason. 
It's for Arisaka, right? Yeah, and I have a whole plan that involves, of course, mother's milk. Is there any way you could maybe use your Netrunner skills to use it as a, a key to look into their systems so we can find out who killed the Cooper family? Yeah, I reckon we could do that, too. But... Good. Oh, the family, not just the one guy. Because we know who killed him. Oh, yes, and I've killed him. So that that's all wrapped up. I think me and you are going to have to work together to find out who did it. I think that's a great idea. Thank you for listening to the Cyber Psychos podcast. Let's give some shout-outs. Panther. I would like to give a shout-out to everyone on the Mosquito Coast. Electra. I like to give a shout out to NerdFest. It's the whole reason why I'm a part of this podcast now today. Excited for the next one. Remington. I'd like to give a shout out to all of my actual cousins up in Pembroke, North Carolina. Sorry. I'd like to give a shout out to Ybor City, Florida. Heretic. I'd like to give a shout out to Ilian, New York. I'd like to give a shout out to British Columbia. Thank you for listening to the Cyber Psychos podcast. Cyber Psychos.